Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is going to be for February. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I am focusing on singles. So this is singles reading. Okay, so if you're single, this reading is for you. What do we have for Gemini in February for singles? What do we have for Gemini singles? Wow, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who doesn't have anything solid to offer. This is somebody that makes poor decisions, poor financial decisions. Or maybe this person just focuses too much on their money. They focus on their job. They focus on their home. They focus on everything but a relationship. They don't put a relationship first. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be, but I just did the Taurus reading, and they may have had you in it. So if you may be dealing with a Taurus, I don't know. But, um, let's see, we could be dealing with a cancer as well. We have the chariot. This is mastering your emotions, going someplace. Oh, you definitely could be dealing with a Taurus. Pretty interesting that I said that I hadn't seen this card yet, so I'm not sure if you are. Some of you may be headed towards commitment. Maybe you're headed towards a marriage, Some, you know, just saying. Somebody, you know, maybe that's what you're hoping for. Um, but then again, this is a higher power that is also involved in a situation. You know, um, you may be dealing, this is somebody that is obsessed with money too. This could be somebody that has obsessive compulsive disorder. Okay. Just saying, I don't know where that came from, but it just came out of my mouth. Oh, geez, some crow. So we definitely, we have you here. Okay. You're here, especially if you're the feminine, um, overwhelmed. We have somebody here that is overwhelmed, trying to do too much, too much on their plate. There's a partnership that is suffering. Okay, there's a union that is suffering. There could be a split. There could be a breakup. Now, a partnership is between two people. Okay, it doesn't have to be a lover. This can be a child. This can be somebody you work with. But this is a relationship that is not on the same page. Okay, this is bitterness. This is resent. This is revenge. This is vindictiveness. This is abandonment, being ghosted, being left behind. Somebody's on thin ice. They are on thin ice in their union, in their partnership. Could be the masculine. I don't know who it is, but somebody's on thin ice because they're not giving the partnership. They're, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute here. We're talking to singles. You're single, right? This is a singles rating. This is a singles rating. So we have this woman that is definitely bitter because she has been abandoned, perhaps by this man or a masculine. Now, this could be any sign, okay? It could be any sign. This is somebody that didn't, was just looking for sex, okay? Put it that way. The king of pentacles in reverse is somebody that may present themselves as, you know, King Midas, right? This is, this is the king of all kings, right? That's what he presents himself as. But it's full of shit, okay? It doesn't have really have anything solid to offer you. He's completely full of shit, okay? And this is moving in a new direction, mastering your emotions, facing um, your fears. Some of you may be moving, but there's no union here. There's no... And there's bitterness. Somebody may be bitter and resentful and in a bitchy mood because of, you know, they got used by somebody or they got taken for granted. They got ghosted. They got abandoned by this person. But you have to master your emotions and move on from that partnership. Stop. Just, just leave it behind you. Have faith that there is something better, that, that, that this all happened for a reason. <clears throat> this is let it go. Stop holding on to it. So we got somebody here that is holding. For, this is for singles, right? And perhaps that's why that all came out in the beginning. Okay. We have somebody here that, you know, didn't put effort into a relationship, whatever. And now there's bitterness because that didn't work out. You have to get in the driver's seat and change your direction. Find the willpower to leave that SOB behind, okay? Stop focusing on it. And there's a reader that is really focused on it. And I'm not going to say her name. I really like her a lot. We have a lot in common. But she has something against Taurus because a Taurus uh, didn't follow through, whatever. Anyhow, let it go. Stop. Let it go. That was for her. Anyhow, um, and I do like her a lot. We have a lot in common. 
anyhow, um, have faith, okay? A new commitment is coming, okay? It is coming. What do we got for singles? You got to let go of the old one, though, that didn't work out. You got to let go of your bitterness. Believe me, I'm bitter, too. Easier said than done. Oh, my God. Oh, well, this is good. Now, this is a lesson. Now, it is a le everything happens for a reason. This didn't work out. Consider yourself protected. That was a blessing in disguise. It was a blessing that it didn't work out. You don't want to be controlled by that ass. Anyway, this is exchanging something for something better, right? So, allow and accept change, okay? Because something better is coming. You've got to stop giving your energy, giving your power away to this person. And you give it away every time that you, you spiel bitterness. You spiel hate, okay? You're still giving your energy away. Anyway, I feel as though... There is a purpose. There's something that better that is coming, but it's coming in time. You have to be patient and you have to be healed. So I think Gemini in February for the singles, there's healing still that is needed. There is definitely still some bitterness. There is. There is. And I feel like that's why there isn't nothing, you know, new and exciting that is, is coming into your life. Okay. There may be somebody that rushes into your life. Yes, but it won't be solid. It won't be solid because you are go. You need to go through this healing period. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's the way it goes. You can't, you know, you can't. Um, now this is a card of manipulation. You can't manipulate. You can't lie to yourself. And this is you. You can't uh, keep holding on. You need to let go of the old partnership. So that's why there's a delay in you having a new partner that is going to grow into something you know, committed. You're not going to get that commitment until you accept that it, whatever didn't work out. You need to really, really accept it. Okay. You need to own it. You need to realize that they have a better plan for you. They really, really do. They're going to bring you a commitment, but it's not right now. It's not right now. It's not time. You need to be patient and you need to heal. You need to make sure that you, um, are creating harmony within yourself so that you are ready for a uh, commitment okay so they do have some for you somebody for you but it's not right now because you're still holding on to the bitterness from the person that rejected you or you know abandoned you or ghosted you or whatever the case is so Gemini in February I feel as though some of you may be traveling maybe you're traveling or you're moving or you're working on mastering your emotions with that chariot card you're finding the strength and discipline and the willpower to turn your back on this person for real for real to really turn your back and stop you know just head completely away from this person that's what you're focused on and that's what you need to focus on. You, there's a lot of opposition here where you keep going back with it. You keep on thinking, you know, I'm going to, you know, you keep on going back to it. Stop going back to it. Focus on the future. Focus on the future, not the past. Okay? So I feel like there is no new commitment coming in this month. I don't, I'm not going to pretty this up for you. I, I, it's just the way it goes. I feel like, um... You've been giving your power away because you've been unwilling to shed the old to bring in the new. You have to let it go. Some of you may be working on your weight. Your work is working on your health. Maybe you need to shed some weight. Maybe it's, it's you know, uh, believing. Maybe you're working on spiritual growth. Maybe you're going through a spiritual uh, awakening right now. Um, anyway, I feel, I see spiritual renewal here. I see healing. I don't see you guys jumping into no new re any new relationships. You are working on mastering your emotions and, and moving in a new direction in your life. So as far as a new love coming in, I don't see that. I see that you are healing from a situation where you were abandoned. And, uh, you know, I don't think you're ready to uh, start anything new right now. And that is what I see. So I think in the future, yes, they're going to bring you a commitment. But when it's time... When it's time, right now, you're staying true to yourself. You're restoring balance and harmony and flow within you. And nobody can do that but you. And I think that's what this is. This is like a spiritual renewal. Finding peace with the situation. Accepting. 
So, yeah, I think that you were tricked. I think that you were duped. I think that you were lied to. And you got to stop lying to yourself and thinking that it was you. The other person wasn't looking for something solid, okay? Move on. Release, accept, and they will bring you the blessing. But it's not right now. And that is what I got. Good luck.